We continue to follow the high impact conflict in the community over Catholic schools and teachers in gay marriages. RTV6's Cameron Riddle joins us with the latest that he's learned in this complicated case. Students and parents tell RTV6 Cathedral High School's decision and explanation behind the firing of a teacher in a same-sex marriage has been confusing. Working for you, we're taking a much closer look at what the school has been telling the public. In a public letter addressed to the Cathedral family and then posted on the school's website, Cathedral's board of directors explained a decision they call, quote, agonizing after firing a teacher in a same-sex marriage. The school says at stake is Cathedral's connection to the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. The school goes on to say it had to fire the unidentified teacher or it could no longer refer to Cathedral as a Catholic school and would also lose its highly valuable 501c3 status and would no longer be able to operate as a nonprofit organization. The 501c3 is an exemption which keeps the school from being required to pay federal taxes. RTV6 pulled state records from the Secretary of State's office and found that Cathedral High School has been incorporated as a nonprofit since 1972, a distinction held by the school itself not the Archdiocese. Robert Katz, a professor at Indiana University's Robert McKinney School of Law, says if Cathedral already has its own nonprofit status, then the dilemma, as described in the public letter, is short of being accurate. That's just not correct. They are a nonprofit organization. They get their nonprofit status from the state of Indiana, which issues them articles of incorporation. And that's separate and apart from their tax exempt status, which comes from the IRS. Katz says because Cathedral is already a certified nonprofit, the school doesn't necessarily need the archdiocese to get that tax exemption known as the 501c3. Getting their own, getting their independent tax exemption as opposed to under the archdiocese, mm -hmm. very simple. What's that process? They fill out a form. Father James Martin is a New York priest and vocal on LGBT issues. While most of the attention has been focused on school funding and same-sex marriage, Martin says the church is picking and choosing the issues it wants to enforce. No one's perfect and everybody sins. The problem is not the interpretation, the problem is the selectivity uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the interpretation. He's only looking at the sexual morality of LGBT people to the exclusion of the straight employees, and I think that's clearly discriminatory. We tried to dig deeper into Cathedral's tax records, but when we went to the IRS website to see how much, if any, money the school receives from the archdiocese, we learned that they do not have to file that information because they are considered to be a church. We also reached out to Cathedral for further comment on this story, and they said all questions are being directed to the archdiocese. In Indianapolis, I'm Cameron Riddle. RTV6. Well, Cathedral got over a million dollars in taxpayer money last year. One state lawmaker is trying to stop that from happening again. We'll have the full story right now for you on the IndyChannel.com and on the RTV6 app.